IBIS stands for In Body Image Stabilization. Within the stabilization universe, there is mechanical compensation achieved by the floating sensor, and it is physically adjusting to stabilize. Then there is digital compensation, achieved within the imager mode itself. The Burano internally has three axes of stabilization, pitch, roll, and yaw. When using a Sony G Master E-mount lens with OSS, you now have an additional two axes of X and Y. Internal stabilization is available using other third-party lenses or lenses without optical steady shot assigned, but it will not be as tuned or dialed in as if you were using a Sony OSS lens. Let's go into the menus to set up our stabilization settings. We are going to start with the Cook PL lens and then move our way into E-mount IBIS options. Push and hold our menu button from our top menus, navigate to shooting, then image stabilization, then PL stabilization. When setting up our IBIS, there are different terms used with a PL or third-party E-mount lens. When using a PL lens, you will see high, low, or off. Typically, when you are on a tripod or a gimbal, IBIS is set to off. In these instances, the stabilization can feel like it is fighting with a gimbal, or when you pan a tripod, the image can feel like it is still drifting into place after you have already settled. When set to low, this is a basic mechanical compensation being applied. High is applying digital compensation in tandem with mechanical compensation. Notice high is grayed out. High or digital compensation is available in full frame crop 6K, full frame crop 3.8K, and super 35 5.8K, and super 35 1.9K. The larger the imager mode you are shooting in, the less room you have to compensate within the angle of view. As you move in on the sensor, you have more room to stabilize. Additionally, you must be shooting in XAVC mode to access high stabilization. Once you set the intensity of your stabilization, you then must set your stabilization to manual and then set your focal length. If you choose an incorrect focal length, the IBIS may over or under compensate. For example, if I'm on a 25 lens and I accidentally set my focal length to 200, the stabilization will look like it is overreactive. Some lenses have in-between focal lengths, like 34, and in that case, just choose the closest available focal length, like 35. If it is a smart PL lens, it is automatic. Let's change our lens to a Sony G Master optical steady shot. In our case, we will choose the 70 to 200. Let's navigate to our stabilization menu, then steady shot. We now have standard and active. Again, active will remain grayed unless we are in one of the imager modes I mentioned earlier and shooting an XAVC. Because we are shooting with a Sony E-mount, we can set our stabilization to auto and the camera will automatically read the zoom changes. 